My dear brethren, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I am so grateful that I've had the opportunity to speak to you over these last couple of months. I'm going to make this a a bit of a farewell, if you will. Um, I doubt that my channel will be existing very shortly, so I would like to thank you, thank you very heartily, for being a part of my life. I don't know when it's going to come to an end, but it's very soon. I've already had a um, a strike and they've warned me that they've taken a video down um, and they've already told me that they are now going to look into all of my videos um, for breach of their um, community guidelines. Well, I already know I'm not part of their community. I'm part of God's community. So, um, God did say to us, seek the truth while it may yet be found, meaning that it will soon not be found. And and I guess we're now in that time because the truth is being shut down. Um, The truth is now the lie and the lie is now the truth. We're there. We made it. Brothers and sisters, we are there. Let's rejoice. Rejoice in this knowledge because we have been told by our dear Lord and Saviour this is the signs of the end and we know we've made it all the way. The generation that makes it. Many have wanted to be in the times that we are in today. We know what is next. So, Let's put on the armour of God. Let's put on every part of it. The breastplate, the spear, the sword, the helmet. Let's gird our loins and put our sandals on and, and do everything for God. I would love to be able to continue and I, for as long as I can, I will. But I, I know there are some beautiful, beautiful viewers out there. Um, I have... A few subscribers, not an enormous amount. I think I'm only up to 135 as of today. But I love you all and I thank you all because what you did for me was enlighten my heart. In a lonely world here, surrounded by unbelievers, to find believers And to share, even if we have different opinions, you've been gracious to me and with me. You have given me your opinions and have allowed me to respond in love and grace. And you have responded back in equal love and grace. And I thank you, my dearest, dearest brethren. Now, I'm surprised I got the shock of my life, I think, today when... I was busy responding to a lovely, lovely um, viewer who had sent a comment and we were to and fro again. It was a wonderful discussion, I thought, and very, very righteous. The gentleman did not agree with me completely, but he respected me, which is what a good Christian does. And we discussed and it was a wonderful communication, full of love and respect. And that I love about this opportunity. I truly thank God for this opportunity. But as I was responding, the final response, boom, went blank. The video was taken away. And oddly enough, I've got a few videos there. Those of you that know my channel will see, I'm only getting a few, up to a couple of hundred at best on videos. This one over a few days suddenly jumped to several thousand. And I think it shocked YouTube. (laughs) I do think it was a... I was very, very pleased with the message that God gave me. It was very succinct. It was about evidently something that's not allowed. Um, But God wanted you to know and he... It's him that does the increase. When he wants a message out there, he puts it there and... Thousands of people managed to see it before they took it down. So his job is done. He gave me a little job. 
and he gives the increase and that's our great God. Even the lowest of us he can use, but it may be for such a short time. And I think that's where we're at now. Um, it was the, the one about um, dreams are telling us that the rapture is soon. I don't quite remember it because it's gone. Um, but it, it was, if any of you did see it, it's the one about the three dreams where first um, there's snakes, serpents on the path and they encompass and dissolve the young woman and and then that sleeping bag at the end. Um, it's that dream if you did see it. If not, I, I apologise. But any of you that did see it, obviously that's one that must have a lot of information that even I didn't realise. So if you have seen it, please tell your family whatever you learnt from it because that has frightened them enough to shut down a little old lady telling her dreams. So there's got to be something there that was worth quieting because the truth cannot come out now. So please, please, let that, tell as many as you can what was in that one. Now I'm expecting the rest of my videos to come down pretty shortly because not only did they tell me that they had taken that one down, but they also said they are now going to um, investigate my channel. All of my videos are about to, and I think of all of them, that was the least, what I would call offensive to them, one. I think Satan gets a much bigger um, knock on the, snap on the um, wrists than the one they took down. I think it was just the number of views that frightened them on that one and drew attention. So I do think the others will be taken down and my channel will be shut very, very shortly. So this is me saying, I love you. God loves you. Keep up the good work because we're obviously, obviously our interaction and our searching is getting their attention and they're being frightened by it. So we're on the right track. God is coming and they know it. And they don't want anyone saved. Remember that. Their aim is to not save you. God's aim is to save you. So now it's up to every one of you. We've got to be that little grapevine. Remember, we were the grafted in grapevine. The grapevine keeps twinkling around so let's do that I will whenever I can if I can I will put more on if God gives me the grace for that if not I will see you there and it's coming soon so this is just a blanket just in case farewell I love you God loves you Jesus is coming and let's all praise our Lord and be careful lest you be deceived because that's the aim of the game he was a liar and a deceiver from the very first he is the father of lies and he is about now so be awake be alert bring everything to god and if god gives you a message you heed that message no matter how small you think you are, I am nobody. I am a little old lady, a little spinster lady. No technical knowledge. I'm useless on the computer. And look what he did for me. Because he can use you. If he can use me, oh, can he use you. So get out there and even if, even if sometimes you disagree with somebody, take it back to your Bible, take it to God and search out the thing. God bless you. Amen.